Hey everybody, how you doing? Another video here for you. Here I have a Heathkit SB221. Customer sent it in, wants some mods done to it. He also wants the metering board changed. He also told me that the high voltage meter uh, sometimes works. So I will fix that. There's the switch, which is in the factory. I'm guessing it's a standby switch. I haven't even looked yet. These two lights. So as you can see in the SP221, it uses a different C1 capacitor compared to the one used in the SP220. So you have more of a gap between the tube and the capacitor. Versus this one, you have less of a gap. So um, filter caps have been changed at some point. I have the new metering board that arrived today, so I put that together and that will be installed. It's made by Harbach Electronics. Beautiful board. Uh, you want it to keep the filter caps that are in it. Uh, how they look okay, so um, these were put in by someone else that worked on it for them. Um, the resistors and the capacitors were changed. It looks okay, so I'm going to leave those alone. Change the meter lamp bulbs, put in a glitch resistor, change the ceramite cap, change the uh, parasitic suppressor resistors. They change value over time. This cap has already been changed, so I'll leave that alone. I'm going to reground the grids. I like this super long lead length with the braided strap. I, I just don't like doing it that way. Um, this guy operates on 10 meters. I like the inductance path to be as short as possible. I'll do the bias modification and um, that should be it. Already has the soft key made by someone else. A soft key board. set up a different way than the hard block. So that's about it. Next video will be of it completed. So oh, by the way it already has the graphite tubes. I'm still waiting on the tubes for that one that's finished. Um, I just have these come in so often that <laughs> The bench is starting to pile up with stuff. But the other one will be out of here soon. This one already has a good set of graphites. So once this is completed, it will go back to the customer. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm all done here. Here's the Heathkit SP221. Added the Glitch resistor, changed out the older style plate blocking cap with a new style. Parasitics tested within tolerance, so I left them alone. I have the new beautiful Harbach metering board. Replaced the meter lamp bulbs. Clean the output rotary switch. Clean the input rotary switch. A customer said. He wanted adjustment of the 10 meter input Pi network, so he had he wanted to yeah he drilled a hole here. I have to go get a cap for it. He wanted to be able to do it without taking the front panel off. It has this um, standby switch when it's an operate the green light lights up, standby orange light. So um, high voltage meter now works. Uh, play current meter works properly. Um, relative output meter works properly, grid current meter, meter works properly. Um, it all came out really nice. I'm going to flip over to the bottom. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. Ended up regrounding the grids. Zip tied everything real nice, nice. Uh, I had this, those heavy braided straps here, so I replaced the wires with the proper gauge wires, proper length. Ended up doing the bias mod. 
zip tied all of this together. Check the SO239 connectors, They're nice and tight. Pins are tight, so I left those alone. So that's about it. Like I said, I already had a soft key kit. So, I love doing these amps. Um, I don't usually do this, but you want an adjustment uh, for some reason. So you could go from band to band, I guess. But, clean amp. If you have any questions, please feel free to call. My phone number is on my website. You can call, text, email. Um, let me see the bias mod. Super easy, man. I don't know why more people don't do it. But, clean amplifier. I already had these drilled, so I didn't really... If this were, like, perfectly clean, I would have felt bad about this, but... I already had this done to it by someone else. So... Heath Kid SP221. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day.